Sega. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is actually on your old graphics cards. Now I know what you might be thinking is, well this graphics card's a few years old and the new ones are out and I can go and spend $300 on a new graphics card. Well you could do that, but if the only reason you're going and getting a new graphics card is because now that we've gone a few years, textures have become more adept and have been harder for lower VRAM GPUs to handle and you think you need more VRAM on a card so say like the um, uh, say a 1 gig card or maybe a 2 gig card like the GTX 950 which is primarily what I'm going to be talking about here today but uh, the GTX 950 is plenty capable of playing 1080p at 60 frames per second on most modern AAA titles I personally think it's a great GPU. I wish they would have added another four or uh, not four, uh, another two gigs of VRAM in there, but there's nothing we can do about it. But the reason I'm saying do not just go and throw out your old graphics cards is because if it can still play the resolution you're going to play at, but the only reason you're getting a new graphics card is because you've got buggy textures. The problem I actually had was in Black Ops 3 where, and you know, it loads in a lot of textures, it really fills that VRAM. Uh, it was actually, it wasn't loading textures hardly at all. I mean, they'd maybe load every once in a while and then they just pop in for a second. And what it would do if uh, they didn't load was there'd be a really pastel looking color, like a blue or whatever, whatever the object's color used to be. The color would load in but the texture would not and I could not it just drove me insane until I went and bought the GTX 1060 and I had no problems with it well then I was playing around with GTX 1060 settings and uh, after I changed something to try to improve some gameplay performance I actually ended up minimizing if not eliminating almost all stutter in games whatsoever now, when people play video games and they get really upset at their frame rate, usually it's not because it's low frame rate due to the graphics card not being able to handle it, but it is stuttering either from the CPU being maxed out or stuttering from uh, access RAM, which is actually what the problem is. If you're filling up all that VRAM in the card, it actually shares with system memory and uses system RAM to store your textures. Well if your system, and all systems are like this, but by default you have page filed RAM in your hard drive. So if you don't have enough RAM to store everything in those 8 gigs of RAM or whatever, it actually starts page filing and it even does this for some slower things because RAM is high speed and hard drives are not. Well it temporarily writes it to the hard drive and then it has to go and find it and bring it back out. Well, if you page file to the same drive you're reading from and you're reading high amounts of data and then you're also writing high amounts of data and reading from a different spot in the drive, that arm in a mechanical drive has to move that much farther. You could probably eliminate this issue with an SSD, which would be a good option for a laptop with page filing RAM. But what I found out worked was I actually moved my page filing RAM over to a unoccupied hard drive or at least not the same hard drive as what you're playing the game off of. Then it can write and read that RAM at the same time as reading the game off the other hard drive. If you had a high speed hard drive in the first place it wouldn't matter or if you had high amounts of system RAM it wouldn't matter in that situation but you'd need like 32 gigs because I have found out that in games like Black Ops 3, Fallout 4, stuff like that, you're using, if you have 8 gigs of system RAM, because that's what I have, you use 7 gigs of system RAM, because you have to leave some, otherwise the system will crash and won't function. I have had that happen before. But uh, beyond that, it uses page filing RAM, which is of the hard drive, which if you set it to system managed, is unlimited. And if I'm using 7 gigs of the system RAM I'm also using probably close to 10 gigs on my hard drive and that's a lot so what what did I do well it's fairly easy 
you right click on the Windows icon in the bottom left corner that bring and then click system and then when you open up into this panel click change settings and that opens the system properties and then you go over to the advanced tab setting in performance go over to the advanced tab go down to virtual memory click change and then on your C drive or D drive whatever it says your OS or your operating system hard drive is change that page filing to no page filing and then get another hard drive or use a flash drive use something else and then click on that one and set to system managed size click OK, click OK, click apply, click OK, and then click restart computer. Once you've restarted your computer, games will tend to run a lot smoother. It might not fix everything, especially if you're maxing out your CPU, but this helped me, helped me a lot. But uh, here at the end, I'm going to show you um, a couple, some Black Ops 3 comparison photos. Um, just of textures not loading and uh, uh, then the same spot where they did load afterwards and what they looked like when they didn't load and you you just understand when it drives you insane but th this was this really made me kind of angry that I went and spent three hundred dollars on a GTX 1066 gigabyte edition when I could have been using my 2 gigabyte GTX 950. Just because it's old and has very little VRAM, Nvidia has at least released an update that allows you to use system RAM as VRAM or video random access memory. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something and until next time everybody on YouTube stay cool.